My name is Dana, and I am a data scientist here at Penny. My journey at Penny started fresh out of university with no real work experience in tech. I studied mathematics in school and only did a small amount of comp sci. I'm a data scientist here at Penny, so I focus on machine learning and the associated backend implementation of those models, as well as pro pulling the internal and external data analytics. Since I didn't have any experience, my journey really started off with me learning as much as possible. I asked a lot of questions and was fortunate to be supported by all of the experienced and willing people here at Penny to teach me and help me succeed. I didn't really choose to work at Penny. We kind of found each other. I had just graduated university and was looking forward to one last summer before applying to any jobs. I had a friend approach me and tell me he knew this guy who had just started a computer company. He's like, you do math and computers, right? Yeah, I do math and computers. So I met with this friend who happens to be the CTO of Penny and they offered me a job. Now at this point, I'm still really wanting to have a fun summer, but I didn't want to pass up on this opportunity. We came to a compromise with a little bit less commitment for me while still getting a feel for the work. Four months later, at the end of the summer, I was hired full time. In the end, I chose to work at Penny because of the people. After graduating, I had no intention of working in tech. I said yes to this opportunity because I felt like it was too good to pass up for my emerging career. I'm still here today, not only for the work, which I find satisfaction in, but for the people and the culture. I've been allowed to explore and develop my role as I wanted, and I was given more responsibility than a lot of other entry-level jobs. More than that, my mentors have taught me so much about what it means to run a startup, about company transparency, to value your employees not only as people, but for the big and small ideas and the impact that anyone can have in any department. When I speak to new hires, they always rave about the culture and how amazing it is compared to their employment history. I feel privileged that this is my first experience at a real job, and I know I don't have to be at another company to know how good I have it here at Penny. My favorite project to date was probably my first project here at Penny. I've definitely done more interesting and advanced things since then, but it was just such a shock to be thrown into the deep end that it's really memorable. It's my favorite because I can still remember when it got deployed and into production. For the first time, I had built something that people were gonna use. It was my first time not only coding, but working with machine learning. And looking back, it's nice to be reminded of where I started and to remind myself that I'm capable of more than I think I am. My favorite part about software development is the investigation. I like looking for patterns, looking for one pattern and finding another, and coming up with a mathematical model for the perceived randomness. My advice for women in tech is to know your value. I struggled with this a lot in the beginning because I knew nothing. That's not an exaggeration. I didn't know how to code. I didn't know what machine learning even was. I kept thinking, what value do I add? Why didn't they hire someone who has actual experience in this or at least studied comp sci? I realized that while I knew nothing for the job I was hired to do, that didn't mean I knew nothing. I could understand the mathematics behind machine learning, which sped up my learning curve. I'm a fast learner in general, which allowed me to learn the different languages quite quickly. I asked questions that aren't normally asked because of my background, which made members of the team think about things in a different way. I provided value by bringing a unique perspective and a willingness to learn. I believe that anyone can learn to code, and that's not where your value lies. Your unique perspective curated by your background and your culture, your education, your employment history, and especially as a woman, is where your value lies. My advice is to know your value.